So for our, for our starting point here, we have brand new project, nothing's in site ops. We're starting clean slate right out of the gate. And the very first step for starting a project is to geolocate. So in this case, we'll type in our address. So boom, there we go. We got our site. Now, next step is to import an image. So what we've done here is we were given a PDF. We were given a PDF, but the program doesn't import PDF. So we saved the PDF as a JPEG so we can import it. And in just a moment, it'll pop up right there. So if we zoom in a bit, we can see exactly what we were given as a pricing document. This is a typical, what we would call a density study, which is a very preliminary one layer floor plan overlaid on a site image. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what we're typically given to, to run our estimate with. Um, and so what we're trying to do now is create earthwork quantities and foundation wall quantities from this document using site ops. So the first step in order to is, is now that we've gotten here, we want to get this plan right here to the same scale and alignment as what's in our image here for um, that's in site ops. So in order to do that, first we need to create a layer they're up here and we're going to call this layer distance path because it's going to give us our distance path and we'll make it a nice bright color so we can see it all right so the key here is to find two common points as far apart as possible in order to create the same scale uh, in reference so two nice clear points one is this corner of this parking lot here and the other would be this concrete pylon out in the river so we're going to go to oops draw path and we're going to we're already in distance path there i'm sorry we're not so we'll escape out of that get there path all right so we're going to get right up on it, go there, and then go right up to the center of this pylon, right there. And then we're going to hit end path. And you're just kind of eyeballing it here based off of? Uh, yeah, just getting as close as we can. You find. So that gave us a distance right there, 655.51 feet. So I always do use Excel for calculators. So that's that one. Now our other one is going to be in the image. So we're going to go find the same two points and draw the line from right there down to the concrete pylon. And in path. Now, as we see, can't hardly read that one. So we're going to do something here. Kind of helps us with our overlay. It's going to change the transparency to about 50%. Now we got that distance, 255.83. So, and then divide by that one over that one. And it comes out to 2.56. So we go into scale, 2.56. Now they are the same scale. So the next step is to move it. So we already got that there. Go to edit, move, and pick that same point right in the corner of the parking spot. And then move it over here. Created one point is the same. So, and the second step is to get it rotated. So, we go with the same item there, pick 
This is our point of rotation center. So the plumb angle, we go down to the pylon. Center pylon. Just rotate it right up until it hits. All right, now we have scaled and matched our overlay to the. Uh, yeah, definitely no right on there too. Yeah. And so if we want to just check, we're, we're the import came in layer zero. If you just want to kind of do a quick check of is your overlay right? Turn it off and on. But then, and that's now you're ready to roll. So I always like to uh, get a save when we're in there so we don't lose our work.